Hello and welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to do a really fun craft. We're going to make this beautiful fall angel over here. What's fun about it is you can take your kids or your grandkids on a walk and you can collect all different kinds of berries and flowers and leaves and you can teach them about what the different plants are in your yard at the same time. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to get I like birch branches because they hold their color and they last for years. This right here is going to be our little angel's head and it's a juniper berry. It's like a really big juniper berry, but you can find anything round or a wooden dowel or anything and just clip everything else off of it and leave this on here and you have the head attached. And I'm going to leave a few little leaves on her hand like she is holding something in her hands. I'm going to make a little hook first. So I'm going to take a couple pieces of wire and depending on how thick it is, I'm just going to bend it in half and give it a few twists. And there you have your hanger for your doll to hang on. And we're going to put this in the back and make sure that her neck is, we're going to just, then we're just going to twist this around and hold her arms onto her head. In the end, what we'll do is give it a few more little twists just to make it tight. And there we have our arms attached plus a little hanger already right there. Then we get to make her skirt. So we're going to take these oak leaves and we're going to hold them right there. And we're going to add some birch to this. And some of these, like we'll just trim off if they're too high. I'm going to make sure she has a glorious outfit here. So we've got some birch and a little liquid amber here. And I'm just going to take one of these little pieces of wire that I've cut and I'm going to twist it around a couple times. Hold that together. And this is probably something like you'd want to, um, you'd probably have to do it for the kids. Um, but they definitely have fun helping design her dress and helping pick out everything. That'd be really fun. So give it a couple of um, rotations around to hold it really snug and then you're going to twist it to hold it tight. And then this is all going to be covered up with um, fabric. So and then I'm going to give this a little clip right here so that we can see her face again and then we're going to add some beautiful berries that are blooming right now they're Indian hawthorn berries and let's see what else she needs we'll give another little sprig with these you would want to um, attach them in the Y so they don't fall off Hold that together. And then this is some berries from Heavenly Bamboo. It's a short little bush. It has this kind of leaf. But really, you're just going to use whatever you have in your yard. And these are some red roses, and they will dry to a lovely kind of a dark burgundy. So then I'm going to take my wire around again and attach this all. Go one way and then go another way, and then just uh, twist it. And she is almost done. Now I have some, I have this fabric right here. This is just leftover fall fabric, and I'm going to wrap it around her waist. It's about a yard. A little strip. You can use whatever you want. This is leftover from an upholstery project I did with a couch. I'm going to tie a knot and that will help hold everything secure too. I'm going to go over one shoulder and the other shoulder so it's kind of gives her a little bit of a, a little bit of shoulders to her dress and I'm going to cross it in the front and it could be like a little sash or if you have enough you could do a little bow the other one I did a little bow 
But on this one, I'm just gonna do a little sash off to the side. And then for her hair, we're gonna use some moss. I'm gonna put a little glue on her. She's kind of looking off to the side. And then I'm gonna put her moss on. But then to hold the moss on, we're gonna give her a little cap. So I have this little piece of fabric here. It's about eight inches um, square and then 12 inches on the diagonal. I'm gonna fold it down, maybe about two inches, and then fold it back like that. And I'm gonna wrap it around, pull that back piece, it's like a little kerchief, and tie it in the back like that. And you just kind of look at it and see, does she need some more beautifulness? You could add that on and you could put a little glue on it if you want. But there you have, I didn't tie it in the back yet, but I will. You have your beautiful fall angel to share. You can hang on your door, by your fireplace, on each kid's door, all around the house and enjoy the fall foliage. Thank you so much for joining me.